when we first talked about this collaboration, I said, I don't want to make music, really. I wanted, like, I'd be interested in making a soundscape. I wanted someone that could come in and recognize what was going on and make sound for it that would, would, uh, make it more compelling. You can actually be way more creative when you're just dealing with sound and not getting trapped into being beholden to making a logical song. You know, I have a certain creative ADD. If I feel like I discovered how to do something well, I become bored with it pretty quickly. I'm always becoming enamored with new tricks, new ways of making sounds. Ian's idea is that the edit will happen and that will generate a sound which will then lead to another sound being generated. He's got this series of really fast cuts that he's already spent a long time with pacing it and he was pacing it to silence. I've set up some software I found that can read the change in frames. It'll break his frames down into a visual grid and we'll spit out MIDI data I'm then sending to a sampler. So in a sense it's a doubling, it's like an echo. His, his musical score is, is like an echo of the action of editing the piece. The art of it really is it's like riding those dials just in a way that start to sort of tickle the sampler and finding where these different machines will actually just sort of play with each other and dance. Definitely Ian is completely interesting and has very different perspectives on sound and music than, than I even know. He's adding something to the work that I couldn't possibly do and that I need. I allowed myself to be, to be put into this situation. I know that the, this thing is sort of his baby, and it's his madness, and I, and I like that. I want to be involved in a project with somebody that believes in and is that insane to go through with it all. This piece is so personal to me. I feel like I've discovered something in it. You know, Ian says, oh, it's your baby, and it's true. It is my baby. It's like the thing that I am holding on to so tight. So it's, at some point, he's going to probably have to tell me, like, this is good. 